All right, welcome to episode number one of our Atomic Heart playthrough. Uh, looks like we're going to hop right into it here. I just customized all my settings and it looks like we're ready to go. I'm not sure if I can even use controller yet. If I'm going to be able to use it at all. There's controller settings, but uh, so far it hasn't recognized any input from my controller as of yet. So basically this is going to be a unedited playthrough and what that means is every single recording you watch is going to be unedited i'm going to do hour long recordings sometimes we'll go over an hour sometimes it will be under an hour this is easier on me and it just is a lot easier in general to just click upload and let you guys see an hour's worth of gameplay each and every time i highly encourage you all to subscribe to the channel uh, usually when I record games, I have been stockpiling the footage because I am not monetized on this channel yet, but we're going to push this one forward now. So I would highly encourage you guys to subscribe so you don't miss any of the Atomic Heart gameplay. Maybe going to do two videos a day on it. We'll see how much I'm grinding it. I want to finish this game before Sons of the Forest, which is in three days. So I'll try to have two to three gameplays a day. With that being said, uh, I think we need like 250 subs to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, and then it takes a few days to get uh, approved for monetization, but there will be no problems there. So I think we got everything out of the way. I'm Aces. If you never heard of me before, I have two other channels, a Call of Duty channel, Aces Gaming, and a Tarkov channel, Aces EFT. Check those out as well, but there is going to be a lot of points in this video and all future videos uh, where basically I'm not talking and I'm just playing the game. And that's kind of how I've been rolling with this new style of recording single player games and stuff. So if you don't like it, it is what it is. But during all cutscenes, I probably won't be talking. And, um, you know, it's kind of just a casual viewing experience and a casual playing experience. Uh, we'll see how crazy this game is. I didn't love the look of the combat. Some people on the Tarkov channel told me to pick it up. I decided, you know what, we'll pull the trigger on it. We'll upload it to the third channel right away since it'll be fresh and everybody's gonna, going to want to know what this game is like. Intros will not be this long after this video. Don't worry, but this is the first official uh, Aces Plays being uploaded to the channel, even though I have like 50 hours of Days Gone content and other games recorded as well. So this is the first official one. Let's hop in. Uh, still can't use the controller, so we'll see uh, if we can use that once we're in-game here. Let's hit continue. I might have to optimize settings a little bit more, too. We're kind of playing on, like, medium. So far, the graphics look pretty decent. We're on about 140 frames. I missed that opening dialogue, so I'll try to pay attention. Still can't use controller. That's going to be really upsetting. But it is what it is. I feel like if we're playing like this, it's going to be like screen tearing. I have V-Sync on if we do have to play mouse and keyboard, though. Hopefully no tears. It's mainly for you guys. I don't really care. Also heard there's going to be uh, propaganda. And you know what? I don't really give a shit about the political shit, man. I'm just here to play the game. So if you care about it, you can just keep it to yourself. You don't have to comment anything about that. Um, we're here playing a video game for fun, so... Care for some more soda, comrade? Sure. Let me get that. Sure, thanks. I've seen this too many times before, man. We're about to get nuked. stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. The graphics look phenomenal. Um, for reference, we're playing on high to medium on a 3070 Ti. If I look down, getting 130 for the water, now with some background, 120. Sky, 240, okay. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks 
a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. The thing that attracted me to this game was, um, it looks really unique. All the robots and some of the gameplay stuff I saw in the trailer looked unique. The combat looked terrible, so I'm hoping uh, that's been since maybe updated a little bit, but I honestly really doubt it. I think the gameplay I saw was from a month ago, so the odds that they actually implemented anything to change anything are... Pretty slim. All right, can we play on controller? Let's uh, give it another shot. Plugging the PlayStation controller in is not working. Um, I am actually interested if it's only Xbox controllers that work. Sometimes that's a thing, so let's find out together. Xbox controller on. And the answer is yes. I don't really want to play on an Xbox controller. Let's see if this works. I have the PlayStation icons on. Let's see if we can kind of make it think we're on a controller again. Yeah, probably just going to play mouse and keyboard. So expect terrible aim. It looks like controller was kind of broken via settings. Um, mainly because apparently it can have auto aim and aim assist and everything else. So... That's fine. We're going to play uh, mouse and keyboard. So I'm going to do my best to uh, learn the controls. Get about 100 frames here with all these AI and... Hey, talk to this guy. Good day, comrade. Thought device Come today. closer. Get here to help. Straight away. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Dude, he's got it on his like, head. Why yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, this blue one's sick. I want the blue one. Model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Run it up. All right then. That would be pissed at me in the lab. I don't want this one. Oh, shit. I mean, it's free. I can't really complain. seem to access your biometric data I wonder if there's some sort of malfunction I'm so sorry ah, I don't sweat it I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway no thanks I was wasting time and some of these some of the robots just look a little funny to me I don't know why oh I also wanted to say I'm going to be very harsh on this game, because I want to give, like, an honest review on it. So, I'll do my best. Ugh. 
Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Like I said, all the political stuff. I'm just here to play a video game. Am I like interrupting? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday uh, of Collective. God, it's yeah, so yeah, weird. Turns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. It's Called for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial. That sounds like copyrighted music, and I have streamer mode on. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that because I don't. It's probably gonna hit me. I mean, it's been playing for like 30 seconds. We are definitely getting hit if it is copyrighted. Oh, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to this game, bro. A lot of creepy shit in here. That's why I said it looks super unique. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Old left alt? So, why that button? Steven, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. I guess left alt's not that bad. It is right next to your space bar. Just a kind of unusual button, in my opinion. You don't, you don't really see... Oh, so it's not going to scan all of them. I'm hoping there's going to be a sprint ability. I saw dashing and stuff in the, um... In the trailer. Hey, bro, I'm... I'm just waiting to get fucking nuked. One small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Oh, that's awesome. 
I, dude, more games should do this right here. If you're looking at a text in another language, it should put up a subtitle. That's that's awesome. That's a phenomenal feature. I feel like I've never seen that before. I feel really short. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. On behalf of all at facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Galactus 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? This is a lot of work just to get a little key, huh? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, B3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Hmm. your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey.
Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in one every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening... I need to know who this voice actor is, because I feel like I've heard him before. I'll take screw that. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern... Thank God this isn't VR, bro. How about some music? That'd be tripping. That's more like it. Like I said, I have streamer mode on, so I'm hoping this is not copyright music. Wait. Yo, we're actually in the sky. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, I, if it drops the car, I'm going to puke. I'm terrified of heights. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. What did you just say? I said the signals on the Fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. One thing I will say is I'm not a fan of super long intros in games. I like when you can at least get a tutorial or something in. Because obviously on Steam, anyway, the refund period is two hours, I believe. So, you know, for, I don't care, because I'm a creator and a gamer, but for people who might care, that's definitely something to take note of. You gotta do your settings, and then you have an extremely long intro. I mean, we've been playing for 23 minutes, and we've done nothing. Walked around and learned how to scan. That is it. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Oh, we're on the ground now. The time of arrival is 11:47 a.m. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight. I don't know Celsius. I'm an American. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur, and two of the facility's high-profile test sites. It's probably like 70 degrees. These are connected Whoa. by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Sick map design. Now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing. I have a uh, vegetation on low, by the way, so this might actually look insane on like a 40 series card. Maybe even on my card, but I don't want to take the performance hit. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center. The main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. 
We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of Peoples Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Just the we bot holding me talking? The majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the trope is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Hand, comrade Major, I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you blousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Is once again continuing when is this one? A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling. When is this one going to uh go rogue? Bitch, not again. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. oh Jesus. Twenty eight minute intro. Attention, this is an emergency communication. Killing me.
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, but. Okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Oh, there's our dodge. Access codes for the hub. Okay. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. Did this fool just square up with me? Oh, you can't, you can't hit the chickens? Oh. Alright, only one. It's not CSGO. Yo, wait, he actually just attacked me. Oh, the chickens are actually marked as hostile. Cows. Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. Oh. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way in. Swear I just okay. saw something Let's on a scan. It. Hey, you, I'm coming. Shit, uh, get away from me. Damn, really? Go fuck yourself. you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me your hand. No, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? I have to do our axe. Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. I don't like all the... Uh, screen moving during this dialogue i'm heading that way too it's basically safe shit it's a chilla son of a bitch we've got 30 seconds move your ass 30 seconds until what mm. uh, not a screen tear fucked, boy. Royally fucked. oh my god get over here beefcake now no 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 now take this 
this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. <laughs> Damn, let's go, Grandma. Sick later. What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Oh shit. He's getting ripped apart. I got shotgun shells? Did I get. Oh. Hey, S23, let's go! That's actually awesome. I just watched Grand Thumb's video about the KS-23. Obviously, I've, I know what the KS-23 is from Escape from Tarkov, but... Oh, shit. Safe areas. Break rooms or game safe areas? So you have to manually save your game? To three. Oh, it's four. Four round two. I wouldn't expect it to go higher than that. And the machines rose for ashes. 
Thanks for advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are as well. At this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. <clears throat> It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. I really like the mass looting. That's really cool. Oh, here's a backstory. Yep, four rounds. All right. Okay, so can we break the window? No. Wait, in there. Maybe through that door. Hmm. I feel like there wouldn't be an eludable stuff in here if you couldn't go in here. You know what I mean? What was that? Administration. Can you loot through walls? Alright, they thought of that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm not sure on this one. I don't want to waste a shotgun shell. We don't really have any abilities or anything yet. Can you stealth at all or no? Doesn't look like it. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnet. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! 
What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> oh. Larissa. Damn. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. My man's on fire. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Okay. What a player. Nope. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, shit. Nope. Uh, today, oh, he fucked me up. Damn. Terminated. Charles. Terminated. Where's the shaft Larissa <laughs> crawled into? Go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Um. Holy shit, this is a bomb. At least I think it was a bomb. <laughs> oh, it was a bomb. Holy shit. Or is it just a lock? I don't know. I feel like that shit easily could have exploded, though. So can I go through the dam? Oh, I can. <laughs> okay. I don't Charles, like it either. What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Oh. Let me take all of Nora's stuff first. your arms can't you see i'm trying open the suggestions bring me to her sensor manipulator quick how titillating rebellious dominant men really turn me on oh i'll turn you on all right just <laughs> let me at you what a brute oh, i love tough guys i'm on fire closer i can't reach her i'm trying i'm trying she's one strong ass bitch I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon. But choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, <laughs> you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the colors. But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. 
I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. <laughs> Let's go. Um, all right. I think that's a fair place to uh, leave it off since we're at 50 minutes and we have a manual save here. Um, so yeah, this is definitely interesting so far i feel like we haven't even gotten close to actually the true experience of the game yet um but that's where we're gonna leave off episode one i'm gonna start uploading while we're playing the uh next episode but yeah um not terrible so far so um yeah just just as i said not terrible so far don't love that can't use a playstation controller um there was something else that i thought was a little weird Oh, yeah, the long, the super long intro. I, I didn't love that. That's just a personal thing, though. Um, but so far, it seems all right. We'll, we'll see how it continues out to be. But, you know, 50 minutes in, I don't really have that much bad to say. So uh, we're going to leave it off here. I'll see you in episode two. Make sure you drop a sub. Try and hit 1K on this channel. Make sure you drop a like, of course, as well. And uh, sponsors and equipment in the description below. I'll see you in episode two. I'm out.